Oh, hey you, what up? Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. I'm Mariam and I am feeling very festive for today's video, which is another episode in my Makeup For Real Life series featuring a Christmas makeup look. So this is something that actually just put me in a really, really good mood. So I hope I'm able to share that with you. I hope it translates on camera and I hope you are here to just have fun with me, just do our makeup together and have fun and enjoy life. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. So basically in this series, I like to feature makeup looks and tutorials that focus on tips, tricks on how to look your best in real life situations, not just in the studio light, but actually unfiltered, up close, in personal, and in real life. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Remember to subscribe if you aren't already. Hit that notification bell so you can watch all my videos on Wednesdays and Sundays, because that's when I post them on Wednesdays and Sundays. And now without further ado, let's get into this Makeup For Real Life Christmas Edition makeup. Let's have fun with it, shall we? Let's do it. So the first thing that I am going to do is show you my favorite trick that I have shown in my beauty hacks video, and it is the self-tanning lip contour hack. This is my favorite one. I do this one like every other day or so, which is why you sometimes see me looking like I have a mustache. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it doesn't actually look like a mustache, or at least it's not supposed to. If you do this right, it's not gonna look like a mustache. But basically, I take a little bit of this Loving Tan to Hour Express Deluxe Bronzing Mousse on a Q-tip, and then I contour my lips, also the corners of my mouth, kinda heavily with this self-tanner, and then I just blur out the edges with my finger or the other side of the Q-tip, kinda like that. And so that now gives me a contoured look, but it will stay on for a lot longer than actual powder contour or cream contour, and it'll just serve as a little frame for my mouth, especially if I'm planning on wearing bright lipstick or dark lipstick or anything that will pop against my skin tone. You sometimes even see celebrities doing this with really nude lipstick, like you see JLo doing this a lot, but sometimes she goes like really crazy overboard because ain't no one seeing her in real life. Everyone's kind of just seeing her on camera, but I'm showing you the real life version. It's supposed to just look like a subtle border around your mouth, nothing too crazy. If you feel like you want to add a little more in certain areas, you can, but basically this is the gist. Okay, moving on to the next thing, which is the next step, which is the primer. For my Christmas real life makeup, I'm gonna use this Touche Eclat Blur Primer. <laughs> Why can't I say that? From YSL. I've been liking this one lately, ever since I rediscovered it. And I'm just gonna kinda glide that across my face. This almost feels like skincare. It's very, very nourishing. And it's great for all skin types. It gives just a nice little slip and a slightly blurred, perfected finish. The next thing that I like to do is actually, I like to allow my primer to set a little bit, to just like dry, I guess. And then I like to move on to my brows. So today I'm just gonna do the usual thing that I've been doing lately, which is my uh, Makeup by Mario Master Hold Brow Gel. I'm gonna quickly go through this. You've seen me do this many times before, so I'm not gonna like talk through it too much. But basically with this, you can create any shape that you want, and I'm just going for a slightly bushy but tamed laminated boy brow. For me, because my eyebrow tails don't grow directly laying down on my skin, I need to glue them down, so I need significantly more brow gel than most people, and that's what kind of helps me to really glue it down. Otherwise, they stick out like little sticks, and it's just not cute, you know? I feel like this is a feature of Asian brows, but generally speaking, Asian brow hairs are much shorter, but you know, because I am very mixed, I think I have like the length of like the Middle Eastern brow, but with the texture and quality of the Asian brow, you know? So the hairs are like a little too long, but they stick out. It's like a unique feature to me, and I'm always trying to work on it and trying to perfect my specific brow, which I'm not gonna lie, it can be tough, it can be tough sometimes. Okay, she is glued down. I'm gonna leave the brows alone. This is literally the order that I usually do my makeup. Then I move on to foundation. For foundation today, I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. So again, I'm going for more blurring so that it can look the best in real life. But skin tint, and specifically a skin tint with a little bit more coverage than most skin tints, because still, I'm going to be at home. This is a family holiday. I'm probably gonna be watching movies with my little sister, you know, and 
I want to be festive, I want to look great, I want to be able to take photos, but I still want to be comfortable in my own skin, and I don't want to feel like I have a heavy mask full of makeup. So this is the reasoning for my choices today. My shade in this one is shade 10, and if you watched my best foundations for 2021 video, you know that this was one of my favorites for the year. I love this one just because it's so lightweight, it's so easy to apply, it works for all skin types, there's many shades, you can easily add like a really sheer hint of color or you can build it up to a little bit more than, which I find to be unique for a skin tint. Most of them aren't really meant to be built up, but this one you can build up if you need to. Shade 10 is my shade. Also, I just love how non-streaky this product is. It's so like just fuss free, you know? I'm gonna add a pinch more just to like some areas of interest, like right here where I have a couple more like freckles and dark spots from acne, just to give myself a bit more coverage in these areas, but not too much because I still want my freckles to shine through. That's a feature of myself that I really like. I think it's unique to me in the sense that no two freckle patterns are alike, so I like mine. I think it occurs in flattering places on my face, so I like to play it up. By the way, I'm wearing Lee's Christmas jammies from like last year. I actually have a pair prepared for this year, but I actually want to be able to wear it on Christmas, so I'm saving it. But anyway, these are Lee's from Amazon from last year. They're so comfy. I love just like cotton Christmas jammies. They feel so nice. Okay, for my concealer, reaching again for Fenty, Bright Fix Eye Brightener in the shade 6 Melon. What? Why would I just add it straight from the tube? I have never done that in a video or in real life, and I just did for the first time, and I released way too much product. Now I'm gonna have to waste it. It's terrible, but anyway, just a drop is all you really need here. Work that in with my fingers. All right, maybe more than a drop, maybe two more little dots here. I'm gonna lift the outer corner, add it to my eye as well, since I just released so much product. Like that, just a fresh little oomph, you know, just a little lift, just a little brightening. Again, this is another product that just looks so believable in real life. It doesn't cause any flashback. It doesn't look like white spots under your eyes. It's just good. I even like to add a little bit in between my brows and also around my nostril, just because this area on me is a little deep, you know? So I like to pop it out. Same thing with this area here. You know, I tend to hold a lot of my tension in between my eyebrows, so I frown a lot in this area. And so because of that, I just like to brighten it, you know? Next, I'm gonna set and forget. I'm gonna use my one size translucent setting powder because it is perfecting AF, honey. So now these are products that you've seen me use so many times before. You know they're my favorite. You know I can't live without them. So I'm not gonna talk about it any further, but I am gonna be linking everything below as I always do in case you still haven't gotten these. I'm gonna give you another opportunity. And then for the rest of my face, I'm just gonna lightly set it with my Charlotte T Airbrush Flawless Finish. Just a very light dusting of that on this big It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Wand Ball Powder Brush. Really weird name, Wand Ball. So I recently had a facial at the Caudalie Spa here in the city in the meatpacking, and I was told that I have shocker combination skin. What? My whole life I thought I was oily, but apparently the perimeter of my face is very much dehydrated, and it's not super oily. And I mean, I guess I already knew that, but I didn't think that it was dry by any means. I thought it was like more on the normal side, but apparently it is very dehydrated. So now I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna stay away from powder, even my Charlotte T powder on the perimeter of my face. I'm just like, not gonna do that. Also, can I just say how badly I needed a facial? I seriously think I'm gonna invest in getting one at least once a month because it really does improve the look of your texture, the look of pores, everything. For my contouring, I am gonna use my Dior Backstage Quad, this guy right here. And this shade has been my fave for a long time. This is a wing gloss number 12 brush, great for contouring. I'm gonna just add a little bit to the perimeter of my face. I know, just a little bit, but you know, I do wanna like bronze up and just contour a pinch. And then like that. For real life, I always find that less is more when it comes to bronzing and contouring. I just find that, you know, sometimes it can look like your face is dirty and it just, I don't know, brings down the whole look, makes you look like you're not really well put together, even though you really tried. But anyway, that's all for the bronzer, that's all for the contour, this is pretty much it. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of blush, Caring Coral from the Huda Beauty Glowish line. I really love this blush, pretty much my everyday go-to. I think it looks great with a red lipstick, or even with just like a no makeup makeup look. It's 
just a versatile, really stunning color. Just gonna add it to the apples of my cheeks and kind of into the temple as I always do using this Laura Mercier cheek color brush. That's it, that's enough. Again, just like sprucing up my face, my complexion, you know, nothing too texture enhancing, just like a light little veil of color, a little bit on the nose. This will still look great in photos, but also in person. Okay, next. This is something that I usually don't do because I'm not like a huge believer in this next product category. I'm talking about setting sprays, but one of my favorite setting sprays, one of the ones that actually does something different is the Airbrush Flawless setting spray from Charlotte T. This one smells kind of funky, I'm not gonna lie. And I also don't like the effect that setting sprays have on my hair. I feel like they weigh it down. So when spraying this, I really try to like avoid my hair. But the reason why I'm doing this is the following. See, this is how infrequently I use setting sprays. Sometimes they don't even spray out immediately. All right, let's go. Okay, so I'm just gonna spray a little bit to the perimeter of my face because I want my highlighter to really, really pop. Why? Because highlighter is festive and I want it to kind of be one of the main focuses of today's makeup. I just want really glowy skin. I'm gonna use my LYS highlighter that I really love. This is the shade Brave. Look at that. There's clearly a difference in the way that highlighter applies to dry skin versus slightly dampened post setting spray skin. So that's kind of what I was going for and that's really the only time I use a setting spray. Because to me, and with my oily skin, setting sprays don't actually prevent my oils from seeping through. In fact, I find that they add more heaviness and they make me produce more oil more quickly. So that's why I'm not like a huge believer in setting sprays, period. They just add too much heaviness. And as someone with oily skin, I can't handle heavy makeup, you know? But anyway, something like this, just on the perimeter where apparently I am dry and dehydrated, I could use a little setting spray. Back to the brows. So for the brows, I'm gonna do the usual. NYX Lift and Snatch Shade Espresso is what I'll be using today. Just gonna define and add strokes to my brows, just a little more, you know? But again, nothing too crazy. Okay, brows are done. And now on to the fun part, the eyes. I definitely wanna do something Christmassy today, so I am gonna go for the green, I am gonna go for the red. This is something that I typically never do. I usually go for gold and red, that's what makes me feel good. Or I'll go for like green and pink, which is just a little different from the green and red. But that combo is always just a little bit scary to me. However, this year, I wanna be on theme. I really wanna go for the green and the red. So in order for it to not look gimmicky, I'm gonna do a subtle green look for my eyes. So for that, I'm gonna get some type of a green liner. Pencil liner is preferable, so I'm gonna go for the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the shade Electric Empire. This one, honestly, is like the color of a Christmas tree to me. Perfect, it's just a little bit metallic, it's got that emerald base, so this is the one that I'm gonna go for. However, if you wanna go a little bit more, if you want to make your green liner pop, you can go for something like the Suva Beauty Hydra FX liners. This one has a neon base, so it will definitely pop through the glitter, which will be the following step, but let's actually go in order. Let's prime the lids, first and foremost. I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Primer. Boom, boom, making sure I'm getting those corners. Next, I'm gonna go for the Artist Couture Supreme Nudes the Quickie palette. And I'm just gonna grab this light shade here called Exposed and just apply that pretty heavily all over my lid. Just wanna get rid of any shadows that are caused by my brow or any sort of like little veins seeping through. Just wanna get rid of all of that so that it just looks like a beautiful canvas, a beautiful clean canvas that is, just like that. Next, I'm gonna grab a fluffy brush like this one. This one is uh, Bedellium Tools. I'm gonna grab the NYX shade over. This one is Nudist. And just very quickly define the outer crease into the eye socket to bring back any definition so that it doesn't just look super flat. But I want this step to be really soft. This is not the main step. This is just the base. Now for the fun part, I'm gonna grab my liner. I'm gonna make sure that it is sharp, but you know, not too sharp because then it'll break. I'm gonna start lining my top lash line from corner to corner just like that. And I'm gonna to start to wing out and kind of thicken the outer corner a little bit like that. So corner to corner, same thing on the other eye. I don't know why, when it comes to pencils, I like to work on both eyes at the same time, but this liner is just so stunning. Yeah, honestly, you can use this one on your own. It is that good. Anyway, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my eyes straight out and I'm gonna lift that wing up. Might be hard to do with the pencil because your hood or just like the outer lid, if you have hooded lids, can't get in the way. So you might have to just like close, open, close, open. Do one of those, which is what I do. 
Or what's even easier is you could take a little winged liner brush, pick up that product on the brush and use that to perfect the line. I'm actually gonna stick to this method because now what I wanna do is actually, with my eye open, draw that line that I like to draw along my crease, like that. So that's essentially the map out, but because I don't wanna make it too much thicker than that, I'm gonna use the brush to add the remaining product. So essentially, you won't be able to see the line with the eyes open, but you'll definitely be able to see it with the eyes closed. I'm gonna add just a little bit more product straight from the pencil, but that is essentially what I'm going for. Boom, boom, and... Boom. Okay, I did mess up. That's okay. I do have my Q-tips handy. I'm gonna grab my little Missler water. Clean that up and then back at it. All right, there we have it. And now I kind of want to make my wing a pinch longer. So I'm going to do that with my actual brush, just like that. Just extend it out. So see, it's like subtle, but it's definitely very Christmassy. Next thing I'm going to do, and you absolutely don't need to do this, but I want to do this just for fun. I'm going to grab this Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the shade Stage Diva. And this is just like a really beautiful matching green. And I am going to add that right on top. And I'm most certainly gonna add that to this little wing extension here. Same thing on the other eye. Don't worry about being too precise here. Now you can just add the glitter liner wherever you feel that the glitter is needed, as opposed to actually creating sharp lines. You already have the sharp lines, now you just need the glitter. Cool thing about these is that you can let the first layer dry, and then you can add a second layer of glitter wherever there's any gaps or wherever you just want a little bit more, and it layers great. These are like my all-time favorite glitter liners. And in fact, anytime I use glitter, I always just reach for these liners. They're like my forever glitter substitute for any occasion, all over the eye or as a liner, I don't care. This is what I use. For the final touch on the eye, I'm gonna reach back into my highlighter, LYS. I'm gonna grab a small pencil brush back into my highlighter. I'm gonna add a highlight right here, my inner corner, also right here in the center lid, just for a little bit of dimension. I want it to be subtle and just light reflective as opposed to glittery. We already have the glitter, now we just want a little bit of dimension. I'm gonna add that here and then also on the brow bone but a little bit heavier on the brow bone. There we go. Now I'm gonna let all of that dry before I actually add mascara, and then I'm gonna move on to the lips. I am going to show you how I contour my lips and how I apply my red lipstick perfectly. It is the red lip season, in my opinion. So for this, you must have the NYX Plush Red Lip Liner. It is the best lip liner, in my opinion. It is super cheap, and the color is stunning. So I'm not actually gonna hold this mirror near me. I'm gonna grab this mirror, so you can hopefully see what I'm doing, and so I won't be covering myself too much like I usually am. Is this good? I hope so. So the first thing that I like to do is basically outline the Cupid's bow here. And yes, I'm kind of going into my contour line, and that's fine. You actually wanna do that. Next, I drag this line all the way down, not meeting my corner. But then I draw a straight line from the highest peak of my cupid's bow all the way to the corner. It helps sometimes to smile a little, like that. On this side, I go a little bit further out than my actual lip line because I do have a freckle on this side. And if I don't actually line to the freckle, then it looks like I made a mistake. So I always go just a pinch past the corner, but I don't do that here. And kind of the same thing on the bottom. I just overline the very, very bottom, so like the center. But then I come up and I actually meet with my corner and I go back into my lip line. And then I just perfect the shape. Sometimes I like to use a clean brush to just remove any lip liner, like that. Then I draw pockets of fullness, kind of here, in the center of the bottom lip. A little bit on the top, and then just connecting to the outer ones. The reason why I do this is because lipstick adheres differently to lip liner than it does to your bare lips. So creating these lines makes it look like the lipstick goes in a little bit deeper so it looks like it creates pockets. I really like doing this, but you absolutely don't have to. Similarly, I find that lip liner just sticks on your lips a lot longer than regular lipstick does. So because of that, I always like to apply more lip liner onto my corners like that. And then I add my red lipstick. So for my red lipstick today, I have a few choices. You guys probably already know how I feel about Makeup by Mario's red lip. Ugh, this one. Kiana is the name, and it is just the most stunning, most perfect Christmas red ever imaginable. I would wear it today, but I wanna actually wear this on Christmas day, so I'm saving this one. Today, I'm gonna go for this uh, Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet in the shade Rouge Charnel. I also have like a slightly lighter shade, but I definitely wanna go for like the traditional cooler red. So I'm gonna apply that straight from the tube, as I always do. 
Don't worry, it will not break. But see, even though this is supposed to be a matte lipstick, it's not thoroughly matte. It has just a little bit of a sheen. And when a lipstick has a sheen, it is really easy for it to get removed, especially when you're eating and drinking. So to prevent that from happening, I am going to show you another very easy tip that you probably already know. I'm gonna grab a tissue. Folding it in half and blotting. Is that not like the most perfect lipstick blot ever? After that, I just like to press my lips together just to kind of distribute the color and then go over one more time with the lip liner just to seal in the corners, but essentially you're done. And this will last and this will look so damn good. I actually really, really love this color. I feel like it's just so classic. You can't go wrong with this color. It looks good on everyone. Okay, now back to the eyes. I'm gonna crimp my lashes just once, but for Christmas, I am gonna wear falsies. Why? Because I can. Of course you don't have to, but I'm gonna use this Refer Lash Curler just to crimp my lashes once and then also crimp the bottoms. I'm gonna use my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This one is waterproof. And then for my lashes, you already know I'm gonna reach for the REM Beauty Dream Lashes in the shade, in the style, Eternally Meowing. This has been my favorite go-to lash. Just think it looks so nice on almond-shaped eyes and on smaller eyes like mine. So I've worn this, oh, worn the style several times already and this is the first time that one of the band parts has come off. So now this might be the last time that I wear these. That's okay. I actually just recently discovered Kiss Falscara and let me tell you, where has it been all my life? I feel like that product is absolutely life-changing and I don't really wanna wear any other types of falsies anymore, but that's a whole other video in itself. All right, speaking of Kiss, I'm gonna use their lash glue, add a little bit to the band and working with one eye at a time using my tweezers, I am going to not drop this lash, I'm going to glue on this lash. Boom, baby. I love this look. I feel like it's so cute and so festive, but not like too costumey, you know? It's still very celebratory and it's still very makeup-y, but in a very wearable and presentable way. I don't know, I'm kind of obsessed. Okay, one more thing I wanna do, and this is just like totally, totally, totally optional. You don't have to do this, but I wanna do this because I'm extra. I'm gonna take a small little brush. This one is Huda Beauty Shine and Line Eye Brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of my Fenty Beauty Bright Fix eye brightener. Small amount is all I need. I'm gonna take that and with my eye open, I am going to clean up that glitter edge underneath my line. So first I'm creating just like a really, really precise line like that. And then I'm gonna blur it out. If you feel like you went a little overboard like I did, you can go ahead and add back the glitter. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of powder on a clean brush and I'm gonna set that in place. Just feel like that adds a little bit of crispness and contrast to the liner and it just makes it stand out a little bit more. All right, so for the final touch, I have a whole bunch of these cute little accessories that I got from ASOS. I'll try to find them and link them below as well. I got these adorable clips for the hair. I also have a whole bunch of earring sets like these ho ho hoes and little like Santa baby hoops, so cute. And these like little Christmas trees. I don't know, all of these are really, really cute, but I am thinking I really wanna utilize these adorable clips. I'm thinking maybe one on each or perhaps a little side part. What do you think? Like a little side clip here. Ooh, I don't know about you, but this is feeling very cute and sassy to me. A little red, a little green, a little present under the tree. I'm feeling this. I'm gonna go for a little candy cane here, just like a little something and maybe a little ho-ho. I mean, who doesn't love a little ho-ho? All right, perfect. And my look is now complete. And I am just so, so pleased with it. Of course, I'm gonna step into some real light and show you what it looks like. But this is what it looks like in studio light. I am really, really impressed with it. I feel like it's so whimsical, but just like happy and dressed up and on theme. I had so much fun putting it together. I think that's the most important part about these celebrations is that you gotta have fun. You ought to have fun. You have to enjoy the moment and make memories and even make memories while doing your makeup. So for me, this moment was exactly that. I gotta say my mood is better. I'm feeling a little bit more uplifted. So I hope I was able to share that with you guys. I hope you love the way that this look turned out and I hope you get to try it. So if you do try it, let me know, take some pictures, tag me on my Instagram so I can like them and repost them. And most importantly, I wanna wish you guys an amazing celebration, whether you are celebrating Christmas or not. I just wanna wish you the best 
end of the year going forward all positivity all light all happiness and joy that is what i wish that is what i am sending out into the world that is my message for today and for always so with that you guys i am going to zoom on out i hope you enjoyed this look and i hope you enjoyed this episode of makeup for real life christmas edition i love you and we'll see you in the next one Mwah.